Officially, there never was a clone rebellion on Camino. Unofficially, approximately 20 years after we were created, a special detachment of the Imperial 501st Legion was dispatched to Camino with orders to eradicate an army of clones that had been bred to take arms against the Empire. Our mission commander, an expert on the inner workings of Camino, was a young bounty hunter named Boba Fett. Let's get this over with. Boba Fett has been chosen to lead a small task force into the Camino Cloning Center. His familiarity with the center's layout and access codes should give us the element of surprise. Before we leave, the Empire wants us to collect some DNA samples from our evil brothers. That's another one. Get that sample back to ship immediately. DNA sample secure, pulling ship back to a safe distance. Good job. Now take that CP and await further orders. Turret, take him down! Somebody take out that turret! You know your objectives. Destroy the computers keeping the Kaminoans' clone pods alive before they can create any more traitorous anti-troopers.
Blade. down their transports before they can escape. Bounty Hunter left after the battle was over. He said something about tracking down a smuggler on Tatooine. After the Kamino uprising, the Emperor decided that an army of genetically identical soldiers was too susceptible to corruption. Future troopers would be cloned from a variety of templates. Though the 501st itself remained pure, the rest of the Imperial Army gradually became more and more diverse. We never really got used to the new guys. I need help. I'm willing to pay good money for you to be my personal mercenary. Well, Bubba Fett by the paycheck, Bubba Fett by these bitches, Bubba Fett by balloons, Bubba Fett got Bubba gum, nigga. Now that you've agreed to be my mercenary, how about I sing you a song? Oh, hell no. Bubba Fett love them booty booty butt cheeks. Bubba Fett mama said, Marcus out, nigga, you feel me?